about crypto investing, and you can see here we've been talking about uh, this bear flag is broken down to lower support now and is actually a little bit below it after a crash and could not get above where them green arrows are. See that big green arrow up there? And we had that powerful, knowledge-filled, educational uh, video two, two and a half, three days ago, Bitcoin uh, 21 million or 28 million outflows. We made, I made that video because when you have outflows and they're uh, much, much above the inflows, by a lot like it was, that's telling you that uh, the price is probably going to sell off because everyone's taking money out of the space, right? And then after something else we were talking about for several days was up here. The Bitcoin price is getting rejected at upper resistance. And I kept moving this up trending uh, uh, price down here at 21293 699 669 because it was up trending and it did finally hit it after you broke the 200 day. That was the flush sign, right? And it came all the way down to lower support. And now what you got to see here in Bitcoin is does it come all the way back down to that critical uh, 2017 high down there at 19969 Or do you start over the next day or two, get some support, and you start walking back up this uh, now upper resistance because you're below it and try to fight your way back in to this bear flag. And as you do know, I've been advertised that this is a massive bear flag. Right, we're in a series of bear flags after a mountain double top, and there's your flag pole, and here's your flag, and now a targeted move on a breakdown would be down at my overall target that I had at thirteen thousand three uh, thirty six from when the price is at sixty thousand. And if we zoom on in here, like I always start from the far out time frame, and then I work my way in. And if you zoom up into here, you can see now where we're at in the hour time frame. You can see we're actually sufficiently below it and uh, not really getting any buyers yet. Let's go to the 15-minute time frame. No, there's not really any buyers. See, that's very bearish look. And if this thing could leak all the way down to 19.893 today, it could. Or you could get some buyers to come in, try to temporarily hold the market, and then start flirting with that upper resistance now at 21269 and slightly rising, right? So that's what we're looking at right now with the Bitcoin price. It did that full lateral flush, and now you got to try to get back on top of this if you're going to try to get bullish and turn this bear market or this uh, this big uh, flush down and try to stop it, right? So that's what uh, we're looking at right there with the Bitcoin price. And you can see it did flush down just like we were uh, forgetting this design. Get that out of there. Just like what uh, we were talking about for a few days, if we zoom back out to the hour time frame, you can see right up there where we kept getting rejected. And our Twitter at a glance has been diagnosing this out every day with our daily Bitcoin technical and XRP analysis to give you an outlook at and what to look for with the price action. And we did come all the way down there. And then if we look at XRP, it did the same thing. Remember, we were telling you if you broke that 200-day moving average, if we zoom out here a little bit and the XRP price to the four-hour time frame, for several days, right, on our Twitter at a glance and on here, we've been talking about how we were stuck between upper resistance at 37 cents that it had to break and the 200-day moving average. And we kept telling you, if you broke the 200-day, you were likely to come back down into this local regional supply zone, which was at 30 to 32 cents. And we did exactly that after we broke the 200-day overnight last night, yesterday and overnight with a violent flush that came all the way down and now what you're going to look for with xrp uh does this get does this start dancing back in this white support zone like it did there 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 right and back down it did it all back there and it, but it got support is that what this is going to try to do now get back down into this white support zone and attempt to bounce again and make another run up here or are we going to uh in this little bear flag that we're in a rising wedge are we going to come down to the next level down and as uh to the next level down in our uh bear market and the next level down for me would be that 18 to 20 cent range and that was a major underneath target i've had for xrp uh all of last year when we were in that symmetrical triangle that i went over extensively yesterday check those videos out uh and that is what the next level of this is going to look like on here if we uh if we zoom out here what i'm talking about you see we zoom out and then we give you guys a nice little view. When we were in that big 
12 and a half, almost 13 month consolidation, which was a bear, which was a uh, symmetrical triangle. The technical target is there in white, down at about 18 to 20 cents on a pattern breakdown, and we're halfway there, over half, 70 percent there, and we had we've had this nice consolidation for seems like about a month, month and a half now. But on the next leg to the downside, that is your underneath target that I do believe that you would hit down there because I I've, I've been telling you in XRP. I think you're coming down here into the last line of defense where that under where that target is at 18 and 20 cents. And then I believe we're coming even lower as the fair market matures, right? And we start getting into the thick of it as we're now 12 months in, over 12 months into this bear market, right? But I do believe we're hitting this underneath target down there. And you can see this has been down here since the year started. And I think we're going to get down here. And once you get down there, that starts your accumulation zone, right? You can accumulate if you're a long-term order or any crash, but this is where the main accumulation starts. And you start parceling your way in to XRP during the bear market when you're in this orange support zone or the last line of defense to the shithouse. And then when you do, because I believe we are coming in eventually into the shithouse, and the shithouse overlaps and starts at 12 and a quarter cents and comes all the way down to about 4 cents, which the shithouse can go even down to zero, if, you know, it can go all the way down to one. Point zero 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 one tenth of a cent, whatever that is, right? But that would be your ultimate accumulation zone in red. Whether we're down in this orange and red zone for a day, an hour, a week, a month, six months, or a year, this are the two areas where you ultimately accumulate. And if you buy in the uh, in the shit house or you buy in the last line of defense, you do not sell until the bull market rally, right? The next bull market. All the fluctuation of price down here in XRP would not be a time to be buying and selling into these ranges unless you have a side account, right? But your main account that you're holding in, these are your max max accumulation zone is in the shit house because the shit house is actually the gold mine and uh, that actually turns the shit house is actually a multi purpose zone. It's the shit house and the price is up there for all these cronies that bought in and get be placed in and chiced it. But down here it turns into the gold house, right? The gold rush. That's where you buy all your shares, all your coins and you stack and load and hold whether it's a six month, six days, six hours, six minutes, or six years, consolidation in the orange and the shit house down here, the max accumulation zone. You accumulate, 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 hold all, hold all, hold all, hold all, hold all, and you do not sell until the bull market when you're happy with your significant profit, right? So that's what we got going on here today with the XRP price. If we zoom in, to a uh, closer time frame real quick just to give you guys an idea what XRP is actually doing right now. You can see how it had that catastrophic flush. Came right down just above that 32 cent top part of that white support zone. Uh, got some buyers down there, bought it back up real quick, and now it's doing a normal trading down. And then that's what you would look to trade back into today is this, thir is this 32 cent to 30 cent range and then this white support zone down here. That is the area that I'm watching out for where you would try to maybe try to find some buyers, maybe get a little bit of a rounding bottom form like that and try to get some pushback up to the upside like it did back over there that we just looked at uh, left on the chart in a super simple, easy way to trade this market. But that's a big flush last night. Like, subscribe, and share to channel with Go Crypto Investing. Use my links down below. That helps support the channel. My big get partner link if you want to trade this violent volatility. Peace and love. Peace and love.